Hey, what's going on, Surf Team members? Pastor Matthew here, uh, just with another quick Leader Minute video to help you develop and reach your full potential. Uh, I wanna talk to you for a minute around the subject of honor. Uh, the dictionary re defines honor like this, high respect, great esteem. Uh, adherence to what is right um, to, or to a conventional standard of conduct, uh, something regarded as rare, bringing pride and pleasure or, or a privilege that we have. Um, it's also kind of a verb. In other words, when we give honor or when we are honoring, uh, we are regarded with great respect or we're regarding somebody else with great respect. And we're fulfilling, uh, another de definition is that we fulfill or keep an agreement or an obligation. We, we follow through, we do what we said we would do. Honor is such an important value to the body of Christ and, and to all humanity. I believe that when we live with honor, we're living with other people first in our minds. We're living in a way that would, that would please Jesus. We're living essentially like Jesus did. Jesus honored the other people around him. It didn't matter their race. It didn't matter where they came from. It didn't matter what they were dealing with, what the reality of their situation was. It didn't matter if they smelled good or smelled bad, if they were rich or they were a beggar. Jesus treated every person with honor and dignity. I think honor, when it's given properly to somebody else, helps break down the hard hearts that people experience. Here at Faith Church, we want this to be a space where everybody can belong. And one of the ways that we can help everybody feel that sense of belonging is when we treat every individual with great honor. That means everybody, whether, whether we know their story or we don't know their story, gets the same high quality, high excellence experience where we put their needs ahead of our needs, where we treat them with such dignity, with such respect. Why? Because every person was worthy of the sacrifice that Jesus made. That's why we give every person on. Doesn't matter if they're straight off the street. Doesn't matter if they're walking in hungover. It doesn't matter if they've walked in and they just smoked a full pack of cigarettes. Doesn't matter if they walked in in the finest clothes or in the raggiest of clothes. It doesn't matter if they walked in looking like their kids are, are Pinterest worthy or their kids look like they need some help. It doesn't matter who they are or what they look like. We're gonna treat every person, every individual, every child, every baby, with great honor. I think honor looks a, a few different ways. I, th I, th I think honor is experienced in the handoff. What, what do I mean? I mean honor when we're honoring somebody. In other words, we're not pointing to where the nursery is. We're walking them to the nursery and then walking them to the sanctuary. That's honor. When we honor other people, we're not pointing, hey, that's our pastor. No, we're walking them over and introducing them to our pastors, to our leaders, to the friends that we want them to sit next to. Honor is experienced in the handoff. When we meet somebody and then we hand them off to another person or walk them to the room that they need to be into. We, we, we honor the children when they get signed into their small group and they get a sticker. We have people available and ready to walk them to their small group and introduce them to another friend. We don't just say hi, no we hand them off to somebody else. We don't just, we don't just wave or, or say something. No, no, we go say, we shake their hand. We introduce them to somebody else around us. It's seen in the handoff. We, we don't wanna just um, set kids up when they walk into our environments and say, hey, there's your small group, go over there. What if we introduce them to another kid or two? What if we help them play the game and help them do the things? What if parents, we, we didn't just show them the stairwell that they needed to walk up, but we walked with them. We didn't just tell people where the welcome spot was. We walked them to the welcome spots, help them turn in their connect card. We, we don't just tell people to go to the Next Step Center. We walk them and we introduce them to the person working at the Next Steps counter. And we tell them, hey, this is so-and-so and, -so, and they're, they're interested in a connect group. Honor is experienced in the handoff. When we start hosting people individually, the honor level goes up in our church. And where we are honoring other people, the Lord is pleased and the Lord brings blessing. 
I want us to be a people full of honor. Let's praise other people. Let's celebrate other people. Let's give other people the credit and let's take responsibility. Let's hand people off to the to the next step or to the thing or to another person. Let's introduce them personally. Let's take it as our responsibility, no matter what serve team we're on, that we're here to host every person with great honor. And I believe that when we do that, we're creating a great sense of belonging in our church. Thank you for being and honoring people. Thank you for celebrating others. Thank you for giving other people respect. Thank you for partnering to help make this church a place where people can belong, no matter if they're familiar in faith, they've fallen away from faith, or they are completely unfamiliar with faith in Jesus. This is a place every person can belong. We love you. Thanks so much for all that you do.